there are very few books about modern india which actually tackles india without censorships and warnings and anything you know there is a raw india that is there then i started a reporter's investigation into india and i wanted it to be unvarnished i didn't want to exercise any kind of censorship having been in mainstream newsrooms i think there are two kinds of censorship in this country which we are not discussing one is a kind of censorship that is imposed upon us because of the kind of ownerships managements kind of dependence on advertisers and the kind of uh, unusual and sometimes extra constitutional power of the government the second censorship which is also equally dangerous is a self censorship that reporters uh, exercise every morning most indian journalists actually come across good stories but they tell themselves that no this story won't go so let me not attempt it even so i said in my book i'm not going to do either of these two i didn't want to be seduced by the parties that i attend i didn't want to be uh, good to my friends or acquaintances so that's why uh, it took me some time then i developed a structure uh, one of the things that uh, indian media or mainstream journalism is not doing to india is that we are not really properly documenting the entire complex web of realities that make modern india uh, for example when i was doing this uh, entire thing i was looking around for the charge sheet of takiuddin wahid's murder nobody had it not even his family had it so i actually had to get a friend of mine in mumbai to bribe people in lower judiciary to get the document out and when the document came to me it was so fresh because probably even the even even the people involved in the trial may not have read the document it was amazing to see that bundle of hundreds of pages of document and and to see that in that murder case the police the only statement from any family member of takiuddin was from his younger brother faisal and it's one sta- one page statement and when i asked him do you remember giving the statement he says no i don't remember then as an afterthought he tells me you know probably i had gone to meet several police officers of so some of them someone must have recorded it as a statement i may have signed it in those days but the i'm saying that it was so shoddy so dredging out the documents was not easy and as i went researching one of the, the one common thread that ran through is that i met some of the most important officials of indian agencies and security establishment who have handled the underworld issues and one consistent thing was their frustration that they couldn't do anything and underworld and criminality was flourishing from top to bottom uh two three deliberate reasons why ratan tata is not scrutinized as much as i've scrutinized some others one is that there's a certain structure to the book second and which is where i think the media also need to pause and think is ratan tata really got hammered in the neera radio tapes right media ran the tapes that were given to them not by government sources media ran a set of tapes that were given to them by a certain lobbyist belonging to a very powerful business family i was among the people who got the tape because i couldn't verify it i didn't even tell my editor but it was run by others what they didn't know and what they probably don't know even today is the fact that there are conversations of ratan tata where he actually tells neera radia that neera this is tata group we do not pay people under the table that in that sense ratan tata has compared to others he is not a robber baron who is out there to rob you i'm not giving a clean sheet to anybody but i think relate so i'm i'm, I'm just saying that uh, the book is not about the black it's not a black and white book i'm not saying that i am the angel and you are all sinners no we are all sinners but there is always we can redeem frankly not one line in the book is not without documentation everything that i say in the book is properly documented and i have enough documents official reliable documents that i will i can present and substantiate before a law of a court of law i think to substantiate my claim so i'm not uh, it's not a challenge it's it's just a journalist reporting without any warnishing i hope them they read the book and the younger people read it and wake up to the fact that you know this country is being foolishly taken for ride year after year decade after decade by very smart crooked politicians for their furthering their ends and they're ably aided and abetted by a very corrupt political system